So, if you want to know how Mommy Mover wears a wig, snatched like this, then keep watching. Okay, welcome back guys. The first thing I'm using here is the Got To Be Freezing Spray. And then I'll be using the Got To Be Gel. I like this black one a lot. And then I'll be using the Nairobi Foaming Lotion. This is the curly hair, so you need this for your curly hair. And then I have my alcohol in this funny looking nail bottle. Well, anyway guys, I have water in this spray bottle. A rattle comb. This comb is a lifesaver. Like, you guys are going to see how useful it is. And then I have some clips to keep the hair away from my face. Also, you'll be needing this cotton bud to clean your forehead. And then a blow dryer. If you have a blow dryer, it's perfect. But if you don't, you can still wear your wig without it. I usually use scarf before for my wigs, but ever since I discovered this, my life has changed I'm just gonna say that you guys will see how useful that is okay the first thing I'm doing here is I'm taking a little bit of alcohol and then I'm going to clean my forehead with that this will take away some dirt that you can't see normally with your eyes away from your forehead and then it will prepare my forehead to receive the gel and every other thing I'll be applying on it pretty much that's it okay Oh yeah, I haven't even showed you guys the wig. Well, you guys saw this, the wig. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys the wig I'm wearing. It's a short curly hair, which I actually cut myself. I feel proud of myself, actually. <laughs> I'm not trying to gloat, guys. That, that wig was a bob wig. Anyway, guys, the first thing I'm doing is I'm placing the wig on my head, and then I'm going to be using my clips to um, push the hair backwards once you have the wig on your head and then you use the clips to push it backwards so that the hair is not staying on your face now I'm going to be um, placing the wig where I want it like I'm going to be setting it where I want the wig to look to stay on my head <laughs> sorry guys you guys might see me talking at some point. I was actually talking with my hobby. It was in front of me, but we were just just in. So if you see my, my mouth moving, that's pretty much what I'm talking about. <laughs> so now that I have the hair out of my face, I'm placing the wig. I'm trying to figure out where I want it. So once I know where I want the wig to stay, I'm pushing it backwards a little. Not so far to remove the wig, but just a little so that you would um, allow space for your products okay so now I'm going I'm taking the got to be gel and I'll be putting that on my forehead on the line that I created with the wig if that makes sense I'm going to put in the gel where I want my wig to stay yeah I think that's better okay <laughs> okay guys so I'll be applying that on all around my edges like so it's not actually hard to wear your wig it is actually very easy to do just watch what I'm doing you guys will get it it's not something hard at all I'm sorry if I'm talking too much <laughs> okay and then you guys this is just a gel it's not a glue so it's not going to um, take off your edges so it's actually a safe gel that comes right off just with water or anything that has water in it so okay now that I have that in place I'm gonna take my freezing spray and I'm going to apply the freezing spray right on top of the gel like the exact place that I have the gel okay like that just like that I'm gonna apply that all around my forehead also honestly you can use the gel alone but because I have the two I kind of use both of them together and it's been working well for me but if you don't have if you have either of the two it works good too okay 
now I'm just cleaning off the excess product on my forehead I don't want them to move past where I want my wig to stay okay and then here yeah, that's why I said why I said the blow dryer is optional is at this point you can decide to just let it air dry but if you have a blow dryer it makes everything fast so I'm just going to set my blow dryer on a cool setting not high setting okay the coolest setting on your blow dryer you don't want to burn yourself okay don't say my mobile told you how to do this <laughs> anyway guys I set my blow dryer on the coolest setting and then I'm just blow drying blow drying I'm not blow drying this to um get the products dried out of my forehead no I'm just going to do this for a couple of minutes just so the um gel and the spray becomes tacky it becomes if that's the word it becomes sticky yeah I think sticky is the perfect word for this so I'm just blow drying, blow drying like that now you guys will see what I meant by until it becomes sticky I hope you guys can see that I don't know why my camera is not focusing today guys oh god please bear with me but so that's what I'm trying to explain in the video it's not going to be wet it's not going to be dry it's going to be sticky okay now that I have what I want I'm just slightly slightly okay you want to be gentle with your lace you don't want to pull it and shred it okay so I'm slightly placing it down and I'll be, I'll be pressing it down with my finger and also this is where this comb comes in handy guys imagine I'm using my my finger all over I'm just gonna be having the product on my finger it's sticky and oh, you don't want to do that no you don't want to do that so you need the water comb for this process now I'm just blow drying that so that um, the hair stays in place before I move on to the other side okay actually I'm using both my finger now that it's a little bit dry with the blow dryer I'm using my finger to press it down and then I'll be moving to the other side of the wig and then note guys I'm slightly pulling it onto my forehead okay you don't you want to be gentle with this you don't want to spoil your hair all right I'm pressing down with my rattle comb this comb is life trust me life <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying life isn't that weird I don't know. anyway I'm, I'm pressing down onto my forehead and then i'm going to blow dry this also again if you don't have a blow dryer it will just take time okay so i'm blow drying that for a couple of seconds okay and then you might notice the other side trying to lift up don't worry guys we'll fix that in a couple of seconds okay now I'm just um, trying to I don't really do baby hair like that but I'm just combing the four the edges sorry why do I keep saying for it good I'm combing my edges to make it look more natural so that it's not just the lace you're seeing in front so I'm combing some hair forward like in a curly I don't know in a kind of I'm just trying to make this front look as natural as possible okay that is much better so um one at this point I'm trying to um, get the edges look natural as possible once I have what I want I'll be placing the elastic band onto my forehead to lay everything down guys before that I used to use scarf I would wait for like 15 20 minutes for my hair to be done but with this elastic band and my blow dryer it's been amazing guys you guys will see once I remove this elastic band you will you would barely notice this is a wig trust me just trust this process okay so i'm just tying the elastic band yeah i'm showing you guys how i tied it at the back and then i'm just going to wait 
for a couple of minutes, say five, 10 minutes, and then I take it off. Usually I would do this before I wear my makeup, you know, that gives me more time to just let it sit without blow drying it. But because my face is done in this video, I'm just go ahead and grab my blow dryer and blow that and then I keep pressing with my rattle comb with my fingers. I do everything to press it down, down, you know, just so we slay down this baby. Okay. By the way guys, what do you guys think about my makeup? Let me know down in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please, I'm begging you guys. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think of my video in the comment section. Okay? Share my video also if you can. I would love that. You know, the number of thumbs up, the number of likes that I get on this video is going to make me know that you guys like this. So please, don't just view this video. As you view, give it a thumbs up okay now i'm almost done now i'm taking out the elastic band you want to do this slow you don't just want to take it off okay you want to do this nice and slowly now look at that and tell me you don't like this oh my goodness i did a good job i'm always proud of myself every time i leave my beats <laughs> okay i see some white residue there that and then i'm just gonna Go ahead and take my alcohol again and then i'm not notice that i'm not pressing onto the lace because if i press onto the lace it's just gonna lift it so i'm just tapping tap tap okay you just want to tap wherever you want to clean off like the way i'm doing in the video okay oh my goodness i love this <gasps> this looks so good Okay, now we're taking the pins out. Oh, clips. Why do I keep? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm taking the clips out and then I'm going to be um, applying my Nairobi Foamy Lotion <laughs> at this point. If you have a coil here, you would know that water and this Nairobi for me is very essential. Okay, you need them for your coil here and now I'm not applying this Nairobi onto the lace notice I'm applying it on the hair on the wig okay not on the lace I'm putting it on the hair on the wig and I'm just working it all over the hair with my finger here I see some hair that I don't like the way it's looking in the front so I'm just combing that out with my comb Please look at this and tell me it's not beautiful. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. And then I'm going to spray on some water. You know, water and collier are friends. Like, so I'm just spraying, 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 spraying. <laughs> I just had a water bath. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just playful in this video. <laughs> And then I'm feeling myself. You guys can tell I'm feeling myself so much in this video. Like the makeup is done nicely, and then this air is just complementing everything and giving me and making me feel like I'm so beautiful, you know. So, guys, that is pretty much it on how I put on my wig to make it look in this snatched and beautiful. I want to tell you guys about this hair. Like I was on social media and I saw this lady, she had this afro looking curly hair that is pretty much short like this and then I was inspired. I had this hair in like, it was like 14 inch, it was like a bob um, wig before and then because of that picture that I saw, I went in and I styled it to this lovely looking wig that you see right here if you want to know more about the hair let me know down in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button right now i'm gonna leave the link to the items that i use in this video down in the description bar in case you want to check it out also let me know if you like this video in the comment section and please give it a thumbs up if you like it i'll see you guys on my next one